It was, it was because I lived in Montana. I could see the, the storm brewing. Um, but I just think that our democracy was founded with the assumption that we're going to know who's trying to influence our politics, that we're going to be able to see who's operating in our elections. And thanks to a loophole in IRS law that's not enforced by the FEC, all of a sudden we have all of this anonymous money that's going into campaigns, and that's just a recipe for corruption. How partisan is the fight against dark money? Um, you know, again, you see both the right and the left benefit, benefit from dark money spending. Uh, I also think, lest we make this a false equivalency, um, I also think it's very important to pay attention to who's coming up with solutions. And almost all the solutions that you're seeing these days are coming from the political left, wanting to reform disclosure laws. Um, what we saw happen in Montana, I think, is a particularly hopeful and inspiring example because we saw Republican legislators working with a Democratic governor to pass some of the strongest campaign finance laws in the U.S. And, and that, uh, I think, is a pretty hopeful story. There are not a lot of issues these days where you see agreement from the right and the left. You, you don't see a lot of things crossing over the political aisle, but campaign finance and finance reform is certainly one of those. Does the film, too, explore the solutions here? Absolutely, absolutely. It's all about disclosure is really the most important thing. Just having an engaged citizenry who holds their elected officials accountable and makes sure that everybody knows that we're paying attention to this, that's also really, really crucial. 